Welcome to another lesson of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtech series, and we'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taba Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In today's lesson, our focus will be on configuring Cisco router to access and supply internet to our clients or host. Our router is partially configured. Let me open party so that I can configure my router. I'm going to use console port to configure our router so I'll click on serial and then my COM port, it's COM port 4 Then I'll click open. Okay, let me click enter so that we can access our command line interface my password is one two three four five six seven eight enter and the mode that we are in right now is user mode or user exec let me give the command enable so that we can go to privilege mode or privilege exec and our password is one two three four five six seven eight enter and now the mode that we are in is privilege mode or privilege exec. I would like to give a command, show running configuration so that I can show the current configuration. Okay, let's give the command, show running configuration. Let me press spacebar so that we can access everything that has been configured. Okay, the things that I wanted to show you is that my VTY ports have been configured, as you can see. My console port is configured. They both have level 7 password. Okay, let's go up. As you can see, interface VLAN 1 is also configured and the IP address is 10.10.1.1. And then we have Ether 4, it's our WAN port. And then 0 to Fast Ethernet 3, those belong to VLAN 1, meaning they are layer 2 ports. Let's go up. As you can see, enable secret. We also configured it. Our host name, as you can see, is lab root. Right now, let me give the command show IP interface brief. Enter. And then, as you can see, first Ethernet 3, it's up. And first Ethernet 4, it's also up. And as you can see, also VLAN 1 is up. And VLAN 1 is the only one with an IP address. So, right now, I just want to show you that as first Ethernet 0 to first Ethernet 3 belong to VLAN 1. And in order to do that, I'll go to global configuration first, configure terminal, enter, and then I'll give the command interface, first Ethernet 3, enter, so that I can be in the configuration mode of first Ethernet 3. And then in here, I'll try to configure IP address for first Ethernet 3. Okay, and to do that, I'll give the command IP address 192.168.1.1 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and then I'll press enter. As you can see, the message that we got, it says IP address may not be configured on layer 2 links. So it has been proven that first Ethernet 0 to first Ethernet 3, they belong to layer 2. Let me get out of this mode. And I'm back into privilege mode. Let's try to ping Google DNS to see if our router has access to the internet. Ping google.com. Enter. And as you can see, it's saying translating google.com domain server. So maybe we didn't reach it because of we don't have a DNS server. So let's try it using the IP address of Google DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 Enter. And as you can see, all five packets were lost. None of them went through to google.com, meaning we don't have internet access. So how do we configure our router so that it can access the internet? In order to do that, let's go back to global configuration first. And then I'll give the command interface first Ethernet 4, which is our WAN port. And this port is connected to our wireless internet service provider, which uses DHCP 
to supply internet to my home. In order for me to configure internet access for my Cisco router, I'll give the command IP address DHCP, enter. Then we'll wait for it to give us an IP address. And as you can see, there's the message, DHCP6 address assigned, interface first ethernet for assigned DHCP address 10.10.0.252 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 okay let me give the command do show ip interface brief enter and as you can see there it is first ethernet for 10.10.0.252 and you can see the status is up the protocol is up status means it's physically up and protocol means it's logically up okay right now let me give the command do ping google.com and see if we can get it or not and as you can see right now all our packets were successful our cisco router is able to access the internet and even if i can give it ping 8.8.8 .8 it will go through as you can see now our cisco router is able to access the internet let me go to my client i'll type cmd so that we can access the command line interface or the command prompt okay in our command prompt let's try to ping google.com again here from our host site and as you can see ping request could not find the host google.com please check the name and try again okay let's try ping in the ip address which is 8.8.8 .8 and as you can see all our packets failed as you can see the message it says ping transmit failed general failure for all our packets now let me give the command ip config forward slash all and as you can see here's our network interface card and the ip address that we have is 169.254.188.193 which is an apipa address how do we configure our cisco router so that it can supply our host or client with internet access okay let me close my command prompt i'll go back to my party in order for us to configure our cisco router to supply internet to our clients we need to configure four things firstly we need to configure the hcp server for our land we need to configure the default route we need to configure network address translation which is net in short and lastly we need to configure access list now let's start with our dhcp server configuration and in order to do that i'll go into global configuration mode by typing configure terminal enter and then inside global configuration mode i'll give the command ip dhcp pool lab test okay let me do it ip dhcp pool and i'll give it lab test so now that we are inside dhcp configuration mode there are three things that i'm going to configure being the network the default router and the dns server let's start with the network give the command network 10.10.1.0 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 or slash 24 enter and then our second command is to configure the default router and in order to do that i'll give the command default router and then it's going to be 10.10.1.1 which is our vlan one ip address and i'll press enter and our dns i'll give the command dns dash server and i'll give it the google dns which is 8.8.8.8 .8 and with that I have done configuring my first step which is my DHCP server for my LAN. Let me exit this mode. The second step is to configure my default route. And in order to do that, I'll give the command IP root 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 with subnet mask 0.0.0.0. .0 and then the next stop will be 10.10.0.0 .0 one so in plain english what this command means is saying that in order to go to any ip address with any subnet mask we must use our gateway to our wisp which is 10.10.0.1 okay i'll press enter now for our net configuration let's go into interface first ethernet 4 and then in order to do that i'll give the command interface first ethernet 
for enter and I'll give the command IP net outside enter and I'll exit and my next command will be to access my VLAN one and in order to do that I'll give the command interface VLAN one enter and I'll give the command IP net inside enter we are not yet done with our net configuration but before we can finish it we have to configure our access list first and in order to do that I'll give the command IP access list my mistake I have to go out first of the interface mode K okay, exit and then I'll give the command IP access list standard and I'll give it the name lab test and now that we are inside the access list configuration mode I'll give the mid 10.10.1.0 with wildcard mask of 0.0.0.255 what this command is saying is that any IP address that starts with 10.10.1 I will let it through and the last digit of the wildcard mask that's saying 255 meaning any number from 1 to 254 it will go through okay let me press enter and then i'll type exit in order to exit this mode to go back to global configuration mode our last step is to finish the net configuration and to do that i'll give the command ip net inside source list it's our lab test and interface first ethernet for and finish with overload and now that i'm finished with my configuration i have to save it and in order to do that let me exit the global configuration mode and then to save it you can give the command right and then press enter or you can also give the command copy running configuration startup configuration so now that we are finished with our configuration let's open command prompt again and see if our client or host has internet access now okay i'll type cmd enter for the moment of truth at the moment that we've been waiting for let me ping google.com again and see if we have internet access and as you can see right now all our packets went through to google.com meaning we have internet access and then we can try to ping 8.8.8.8 .8 again let's see if we can get it and as you can see all our packets went through now let me minimize and then let me close my party okay let me open google chrome and see if i can access the internet okay let's try cisco.com enter and as you can see and as you can see we are able to reach the website of cisco.com meaning our client now has internet hope this lesson was informative and beneficial and if it was please share it with someone who will also benefit from it and if you have a comment or suggestion please don't be afraid to leave it on the comment section last but not least please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson let me love and leave you have a blessed day and thank you for watching